Hey, I'm back with another video. I'm gonna show you how to make some really cute, my little bowl, heart shaped macaroons with strawberries and cream. And it's Valentine's Day in two weeks, so I thought that'd be a cool thing to do. See if I can get this to focus, so you can see it properly. There we go. Yeah. So we're just gonna jump right in there. So to start off, we're going to need to get our ingredients ready. So I've got some ground almonds, some icing sugar or confectioner sugar, whatever you want to call it, some egg whites and some caster sugar. And I've also got some pink food colouring which is going to make our macaroons pink. And if you want to know the measurements and all that kind of stuff then check out the description box below. So what you're going to want to do is get your ground almonds and your icing sugar put that straight in a food processor and whiz it up for about five minutes. And what that's gonna do is, it's just gonna get rid of any kind of lumps in there and make it super fine, so that your macaroons can be nice and smooth and you've not got any kind of lumps in there. So once you've done that, you're gonna put that in a sieve and sieve that over a bowl to really make sure you've got no lumps in there. And if you've got about a tablespoonful left, then you can just throw that away, it's not too important. Now we're going to make a start and doing our meringue to make our macaroons. So you're going to put your egg whites in a mixer with your whisk attachment and whisk that on the high speed until it gets really nice and frothy. Once it's got nice and frothy, you can now go and add in your sugar really slowly just to make a light meringue. I'm now going to go in there with a pink gel food colour. Now we're going to move on to the mixing stage. This is the most important part of making a macaroon. This is what, what can really make or break your macaroon. So what I do is I put half of that almond sugar, icing sugar mixture into my mixing bowl with the meringue and then I just sort of fold that in and then I get my other half of that mixture and I pour the rest of that in and I fold it again. You're gonna need to keep folding it. I'm struggling to actually show you what I'm doing because it's I'm I'm doing it in a bit of an awkward position where the camera is. But um, you, basically, what I'm doing is I'm just folding it, keep folding it until it's all in there, nice and smooth. And what you want to you want to look out for it to be at a nice sort of kind of like a cake batter consistency. People often say it's like um, molten lava, but if you're like the majority of the people on this earth, you've not actually seen molten lava. What you want it to look like, it's just, it's, it comes off your spatula, but kind of reluctantly. And once it sort of drops into your mixture, it sort of melts into that mixture after about 10 seconds, if that makes sense. Once you've sort of achieved that nice sort of mixture, you can then pop that in a piping bag. I'm using a round small nozzle and I've lined some baking sheets with some parchment paper. So I don't really know how to describe how I'm doing these little hearts. It's kind of, I sort of apply a little bit of pressure and then let go of the pressure as I move it away from that blob and then I repeat that on the other side of that blob and then apply a little bit of pressure and let go and move and that's what's giving me that kind of heart shape. And then enough mixture left for another tray, so we'll do that as well. If you want to make your life a lot easier, or you don't feel very confident with piping, then you can, of course, use a template. What you want to do now is you want to let your macaroons set for about 20, 30 minutes. The importance of that is it, it forms a skin, and that skin's going to stop it forcing any sort of cracks to come through in your macaroon. So you know you've got it's got some sort of skin if you sort of put your finger on it and then it's not tacky and then the mixture sort of comes off and goes onto your finger. So while you're sort of letting that sort of set, you need to preheat your oven to 150 degrees centigrade. I'm not sure if that is in Fahrenheit, I will Google and I'll put that in the description box below so you know what that is. So once your macaroons have formed that skin, you can then pop them in the oven and you're going to cook them for about 12 to 14 minutes. Once that time's up, you're going to want to take them out and let them cool completely. Once you've made your nice little cute heart shells, it's time to move on to making your filling. So I'm using a Swiss meringue buttercream. If you don't know how to make Swiss meringue buttercream, I did a video on it last week and I'll link that in the description box below or somewhere around here if I'm savvy enough to figure out how to do that. So I made my Swiss meringue buttercream and I also made a like a concentrated strawberry puree. I am um, I've got a new camera and I forgot to actually record. I um, forgot to press the record button when I actually made that. So basically all it was was I chopped up some strawberries with some sugar and some lemon juice. 
and I boiled it all up and I pureed it. I'll leave the measurements and exactly what I did in the description box below. So I folded in that strawberry puree into the Swiss brine buttercream and I also melted down some white chocolate and folded that into the mixture as well. So I then put my buttercream in a piping bag and exactly the same as how I piped my macaroons I'm doing, I apply a little bit of pressure and move away. A little bit of pressure and move away. And I just squidge it together gently and that's how I made my little strawberries and cream macaroon. So to finish it off, just to make it a little bit more fancy, I melted down some white chocolate, put that in a piping bag and I sort of drizzled it all over my macaroons. And then I got some freeze dried strawberries and I just sprinkled them on top. And that is how you make these strawberries and cream heart shaped macaroons. So that's it for this video, I hope you liked it and I hope you make it for your boyfriend or your girlfriend or just a, whoever as a, like a nice little sweet treat. And if you like this video give it a thumbs up, if you like the video subscribe, I upload every week, most weeks I upload twice a week so subscribe for that. Until the next video take care and bye! Oh my god, they worked! And can we just take a moment to appreciate the feet and these macaroons? I don't know if you can see it very well, but like, oh my god! Feet on fleek!